I appear to be dealing with a massive skill issue in this video. No way, he jump shot at me? <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Tarkov recently. That was f***ing disgusting. That was. Frankly, I've been having a lot more fun with it than I should be. It's a really good game for all the very same reasons it's a completely awful game. A PlayStation U? Oh my god. the same sh every time. <laughs> <laughs> and the weird part is that it's almost impossible for me to articulate why this might be the case. I think it probably stems from the pacing of the game, or perhaps it's just the weird gun modding that very closely mimics the real life gun modding experience. Imagine you're a kid walking down the street and then you look to your left and this is what you see. It's like a f Honda Civic. Tarkov scratches that itch that other tax shooters don't. Oh. <laughs> And trust me, uh, there isn't a lot of tax shooters like this one. I've been closely watching this game's development since 2016, when I first heard about its alpha. The idea, the concept, and overall feel and look of the game actually kind of intrigued me. I honestly thought that it was going to be the perfect game for me, just at a glance, you know? Then around 2019, I decided to buy it. And, um, would you have guessed, it's turned out to be one of my least favorite purchases of all time. Sitting comfortably next to all six of the Nekopara games. And don't ask me why I have them, I'm not going to answer that question. The game is bafflingly filled with problems. You're like, actually, this is, this is fucking awful. And you stop playing it. And you're and like, you damn. Other people play it, and then you the fucking cycle repeats itself. Yeah, it's it's like fucking crack. It's it's actually like crack, but like the worst possible uh, concept of an addiction you can think of. It's literally crack. Problems that can be fixed by being a better player, and that's something that I am not. <laughs> This game has a fucking insane skill entry that must be dealt with before you can even scratch the surface of just enjoying the game. Oh, nigga. What the fuck, dude? And by god, it does not hold your hand. Why was- what the what, bro? I would get around 10 to 14 levels in before I'd stop playing the game, literally due to real life stress. This was a constant reoccurring issue for me. And you know, at some point, I just had to say it. Man, I'm just not very good at this video game. And with that, I was left with an impossible conundrum. I realized that I liked every aspect of Tarkov, except for the part where it was Tarkov. And I spent around five years trying to play and enjoy the game. But it posed way too many issues for me to enjoy. So, today I have a confession to make. This entire time, you thought I was playing Tarkov, right? <laughs> well, viewer, I had you tricked, duped, deceived. You see, fellow viewer, I am not playing Tarkov. I am playing Tarkov SPT. And you see, fellow viewer, this game has got to be the most downright brilliant dopamine hit I have ever experienced in my entire fucking life. And I'm going to attempt to explain to you, from one monkey brain to another, why this might be one of the greatest gaming experiences of 2024. Motherfucker sneaking. Fucking stunk his ass. Um, I'll get him eventually. Fucking hell, that thing sucks. Yeah, it's not good. We need to go left. YOLO! He's pushing. Fuck, is Brock too? Yeah, he just went up the stairs. Down. Nice, good shit, good shit. That's one down. Oh, wow! There's a whole fucking party out there. I just fucking killed Knight, it's the goons. Oh god. There's scabs mixed in with them. Oh my god, bro! <laughs> this is considered a revolver. <laughs> Did that go the way you thought it was gonna go? Tarkov SPT is, well, 
D do, do I even have to bother telling you guys what it is? You're not stupid. I know you're not stupid. I know all of you can read. Literally, its name is its foundational function. It is a mod that makes Tarkov a single player game. And if you're now just hearing about this and you're a Tarkov player, your brain is probably popping a triple kickflip, trying to figure out how this is even possible. And to that, I say it's quite simple, actually. They just made the PMCs and scavs not need a functioning internet connection. Wow. How intuitive. If only BSG had figured that out uh, two years ago. But you know, who am I kidding? They only just figured it out and the queue times still look like this. By the way, uh, this game still costs, uh, what, $250, guys? Nice. Because of the nature of SPT, it stands mostly on the performance of its AI. One would think that the game would stale over time because the AI are kind of one-dimensional or in hindsight, there's just a general lack of content in this game coded by Russian ants. You wonder why. If you make the quests fun, the quests will be fun and people will want to do them. If you don't make the quests fun, the quests won't be fun and people won't want to do them. I don't know, what's a fun quest? Um, I like the ones where I find something and then leave. I like the ones where I kill people and that's it. I like the ones where it's like, you can play with any equipment you want as long as you get this thing done. I don't like the ones that are like, you have to kill this specific thing with this specific gun, with these specific attachments, with this specific gear, with this specific impairment, with this specific- Like, can you just this fuck- This specific with... range. Yeah, that's this specific range in these specific per- The tasks are unfortunately somewhat dog shit. Thankfully, there are a plethora of mods and add-ons that you can add to this game that somewhat enhance the experience. And I've got to say, these mods are a 10 out of 10, baby. I scoured this shit every day and found a different mod each time I visited the website. Not only do these add-ons majorly enhance the gameplay experience, they also happen to fix a lot of Tarkov's abysmal UI UI decisions. And you know what, I was going to skip this section about critiquing their UI, but BSG doesn't give a fuck about their player base, so neither do I. Where do I even start with this? God damn, there's so much wrong with this shit. For some godforsaken reason, you have to individually load each magazine in your inventory if you want to have ammo in your fucking mags. If you want to have one ammo type in one mag and another ammo type in a different mag, there's no way to tell which is which. If you want to check what ammo is in the mag, you have to inspect the mag, yank the mag down, and then you have to see, oh, that's that ammo type, okay, and then you have to, if you don't know what that ammo type is, you have to fucking look it up. It's, it's so dog shit. Why is it like this? The statistics for ammo type are dog shit. They don't tell you anything. It, there's no way to know if the ammo is good or if the ammo is shit. You have to look it up in a fucking graph. Why isn't this in the game? There's websites all over the place that allow you to look up this kind of information for your ammo. And yet the game just doesn't have it in there. Why? Is, is, why? Why? Just... Ah, oh, fuck. Oh my god. I'm going to lose my mind. There's more, by the way. I'm not done yet. Did you know that there's no hotkey to put something in a container in your stash with a single click? That's that's crazy, right? That, that, that's insane. That you have to install a mod to do that. It's baffling how little time was spent in the interface that you end up playing more than half the game in. File Explorer has more fucking <laughs> ease of use features than Tarkov does. That is insane to me. There's more, but I don't want to sit here and just go through a fucking schizo rant about it. The add-ons even allow you to heavily tweak the overall gameplay experience, making the experience more of a roguelike instead of a extraction shooter. And the fucking cherry on top, to further bury the idea of paying $250 for slop, someone unrelated to the SBT team made a multiplayer mod and it works exactly as advertised. I'd like to call out a couple mods that kind of overhaul the experience. I think my first really good example is Sane AI, which makes the AI kinda cracked. Do you remember that one clip from the beginning of the video? 
No way, he jump shotted me? Would it surprise you if I told you that that was an AI that dunked the shit out of me? You can also pair this with mods like That's Lit, which acts as a case-by-case -case AI visibility shield, so they don't crack shot you from halfway across the map while you're in foliage and darkness. There are so many different mods that adjust the game that I honestly don't think they are worth even covering in a single video. I'm gonna just do y'all a favor and throw the ones I use up on screen real quick. So, at this point, SPT alone offers everything that regular Tarkov does for a fraction of its price, and all of the novelty and things I liked about Tarkov got to stay in SPT, and all of the things I didn't like about Tarkov got removed from SPT. Oh my god. Dude, what the fuck? So, SPT is just this perfect coagulation of everything I like. And I literally don't have to spend any time looking for any kind of alternative. SPT was just what I was looking for, literally while I was looking for it. Are you fucking kidding me? Why? Why is this loaded with 3.6 TKM? What the f- Oh my god. And the reality is, now that I have found SPT, I might not ever return to Tarkov. I mean, like, why would I? Like, the game offers nothing of value to me, other than its PvP, and that, in of itself, is riddled with its own issues. Like, the infamous cheating problem. See, now, why would I want to play a version of Solo Tarkov that has worse gameplay, worse AI, and performs worse than... SPT, which I can mod and also customize my experience to tailor how I want it to feel. Like, come on, BSG. Oh my god. I was ecstatic after discovering this mod. I never thought I would have a real or genuine chance to enjoy Tarkov as a video game. And the looming thought that I continued to have over the course of the next four years after I had purchased it was that I had purchased a video game that I would never truly enjoy, simply because I felt like the gate was too tight to squeeze through. I'm happy to say that I feel differently about this now. I feel like I've gotten everything I wanted out of Tarkov, and I was addicted to it. To really pin the tail on the donkey here, I feel like I'm finally at peace with Tarkov.